holding on to their point of departure with four flights left to jump and less than seven furlongs to go. And it is the Boucher, still with an uncontested lead. Been in front all of the journey so far. Scarbetta, a slight mistake. And in third place, get a bird with Dortmund Park, Duke de Geneva, and then comes Burrow Saint. Palisader is trying to improve, and then Real Steel and Whiskey Sour. Coming across to the final two flights before the straight, they've three to jump, and the leaders are beginning to tighten up. De Boucher is falling back to Scarpetta, and Dortmund Park, Burrow Saint. Get a bird on the inside, just knock back a place or two, but they're very tightly grouped with three to jump. De Boucher joined by Scarpetta in the green and yellow. Then comes Dortmund Park going third ahead of Burrow Saint. Get a bird pushed along as Duke de Geneva trying to close, but Britain as Palisator at the second last. De Boucher and De Boucher's gone and has put out of the race Scarpetta and Get a bird and Dortmund Park will lead them into the straight. Chased by Burrow Saint, Palisader is third, and then a break back to a running on Whiskey Sour ahead of Real Steel. Off the final bend with one to jump, and the Profile Systems champion of his hurdle, and it's Dortmund Park going for home under Jack Kennedy. Leads three to four lengths down to the final flight with running on Whiskey Sour on the outside of Burrow Saint and Palisader, but at the final flight, Dortmund Park is over. A big jump, it's five lengths clear on the run into the closing stages chased by Whiskey Sour and then Burrow Saint inside the last 50 yards and it's Dortmund Park a slice of luck here for Gordon Elliott, Jack Kennedy and Jiggenstown as Dortmund Park has won the two and a half mile champion novice from Whiskey Sour, Burrow Saint, Real Steel and then Palisade to Duke to Geneva and looking back to the second last flight up and walking Danny Mullins and Scale. Well, it's not the grade one that Gordon Elliott, Jack Kennedy and Jiggenstown were hoping to win today, but they'll take it. Dortmund Park provides some measure of compensation for the fall of Sam Crow earlier on in the day. But yet again, this race has changed complexion totally in the closing stages. And De Boucher, it was an accident waiting to happen. He was jumping really poorly for the bulk of the race and ironically he actually jumped that hurdle reasonably well it was a similar sort of fall to Sam Crow his landing gear just went from under him and Scar Petta and Getterbird his two stable I beg your pardon the two Willie Mullins runners who were behind him had absolutely nowhere to go the rail has come out and everything so three horses taken out of the race there and all of a sudden it was Dortmund Park left in front making the best of his way home on the run to that final flight, pursued by Burrow Saint, Palisader, and Little Whiskey Sour, making his second appearance of the week, comes out of the bunch to give chase, but he is unable to get any closer after rather landing in a heap at the landing side of the final flight. Palisader out on his feet there in fourth, made a right mess of it too. Willie Mullins has already been crown champion trainer. He had an unassailable lead of 550 odd thousand euro going into that race, but Gordon Elliott gets back on the board here with Dortmund Park, his second string in the betting. But this horse, in fairness to him, had run some big races in defeat, most notably at Leopardstown on the Irish, the Dublin Racing Festival weekend when he finished fourth to Tower Bridge. 16 to one, he's returned. Whiskey Sour, 11 to two, well backed in second. Burrow Saint in third at 33 to one. Nine ran in that profile systems. Champion novice hurdle and a nice, particularly nice moment for Jack Kennedy after all the expectation on Sam Crow earlier on, he did absolutely nothing wrong. Unfortunately, it all went south. Just as things were beginning to get interesting, but you can see that meant a lot to the young man from Dingle. That's another for Jack Kennedy. And it's one for Gordon Elliott, a welcome win for Gordon Elliott and his team and for Jiggins Sound. But more drama here at Punchestown. Dortmund Park 16 to 1, Whiskey Sour 11 to 2, Burrow Saint 33 to 1. The trouble began when the grey horse, Debuchet, came down. One of the victims, Paul Townend, um, who can't get out of the way of the grey, and uh, takes out Patrick Mullins and get a bird. And just extraordinary. Not short of thrills and spills tonight. Is this going to end? I mean,. Um... He's, he's, he's blown the race wide open, but I think there's a case in this in this race, Sean, of a horse at the end of long season. There's obviously a lot of carnage, but there's a few horses here just haven't fired at all. Yeah. That's paved the way for 
for Dortmund Park, who's probably improved a, a good bit, actually, on what he did behind Kilbrick and Storm in, in the Albert Bartlett. Second start since the wind up yeah. as well may have helped. Might few have, saying that yeah. that is the potential angle with these things, yeah. isn't it? And I'm sure more evidence will, will emerge that Palisator wasn't on a going day. No. A galling for me, you get the first two out of it, one by sheer luck in terms of Getterbird, the other Palisator sort of bringing forward the negative aspects that we thought about him, but Whiskey Sour ended up a long way back. And this winner was not for catching, it was a great ride by Jack Kennedy, he knew he had the stamina to play with, didn't mess around, kicked for home at the end, end of the back straight.